friends in this video we are going to see a uh, pre chopper assisted SICS this is peritomy for about two clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and now a very mild cautery is done we should not cause shrinkage of tissue by the cautery and now this is a mild frown incision length of this incision is about 5.5 millimeter we can make smaller incision with this technique but since this is the first case I am attempting division of the nucleus in SICS for the first time through the main wound I made this incision of about 5.5 millimeter almost 6 millimeter this is a side port on the left side I will need this side port for use of a sustainer this is a side port on the right side at around 7 o'clock the antechamber is filled up with visco and visco is applied over the corneal epithelium and now this is rexis with the help of a needle the axis should be about 5.5 to 6 millimeter in a SICS. If the nucleus is hard, it should be 6 millimeter to 7 millimeter. And now the tunnel is opened we must go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and then enter into the anterior chamber now hydro dissection is done I didn't want to prolapse the nucleus because I want to divide the nucleus in the back the advantage of this pre chopper is we don't have to prolapse the nucleus and here goes Dr. Sohail's pre chopper the sustainer goes through the left side port and the nucleus is nicely divided into two heminuclei and I come out visco is injected and now I take two Sinsky hooks and bring out one heminucleus out of the bag the other heminucleus is still in the bag inject some visco both the sides above and below and then use this fish hook made from 30 gauge cannula to remove this heminucleus inject visco again use the two hooks again and bring it out of the back inject visco again all around this piece and then use the fish hook again to bring out this heminucleus And now cortical cleanup is done with the help of this Simco cannula. This is a 22 gauge Simco cannula. This side port is very small. This one is okay. Go through the 7 o'clock side port and remove most of the cortex. 
bit of cortex is still there at 7 o'clock remove it going through the main wound inject visco we can implant a foldable lens but in this case I implanted this Liberty lens from Upper Sami Associates the lens goes into the capsular bag and now I use a 22 gauge Simco to remove the visco from the entry chamber as well as from the capsular bag very nice cleaning of visco is necessary go through the side port again and irrigate and aspirate the visco once it is nicely done I close the side port at 7 o'clock the 2 o'clock side port has not been used it has been used only once so it doesn't require any hydration this is the final lavage the antechamber is formed in this way and then this is dexamethasone and gentamicin injection the conjunctiva gets advanced to the limbus and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention this is just an experiment and I believe that with this technique we can do small incisions and do SICS with uh, about 4 millimeter incision and implant a foldable intraocular lens.